Hi everybody, it's Wynn and welcome to another video by The Entropy System. Today we're going to be talking about grounding. What I mean by grounding is exercises that help you come down from an anxiety or a dissociative episode. There are tons of grounding techniques that can be found in lots of books and resources online, uh, but not every grounding technique is going to work for everyone. I've compiled a list of six grounding tools that work best for us specifically in hopes that maybe I can help you guys find good grounding tools that work for you. Grounding tool number one, temperature changes. Well, this isn't the one we use the most. This is definitely the most effective for our system. Our favorite grounding technique that involves temperature changes is taking a hot bath. Just sitting in the warm water and relaxing it does tons for both dissociation and anxiety for us. If you don't have a tub, standing in a hot shower for a while and letting the water warm you that way. We don't handle cold well, so we would never take a cold bath or a cold shower. However, sometimes cold is what is needed to kind of snap us out of it. So what we'll do is we will hold something frozen in our hands. Not ice, because ice directly on skin can cause, you know, freeze burns and, and that's no good. Um, but holding, say, a bag of frozen vegetables or um, one thing that's really cool is freezing an orange. So you have this cold ball. It's also giving off like a really calming scent if orange is one of your calming scents. Um, but holding onto something cold in our hands and focusing on that will sometimes, will often bring us down um, from whatever episode we're in. Grounding tool number two, breathing techniques. There are tons and tons and tons of different breathing techniques out there uh, offered by different professionals. And just like any other grounding tool, we had to find the ones that work best for us. One of the most effective things that we found for breathing techniques is the breathing tool on an app called Virtual Hope Box. Virtual Hope Box is available on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store and is free and is very cool. It has little games, it has guided meditations, it has a place for you to like store pictures that might help you ground or bring you out of an anxiety episode. Um, and it also has an app that guides your breathing by uh, an animation of a bar just slowly filling up, pausing and coming down with just naturey things in the background. And so breathing along with that app uh, is was the most effective breathing tool for us. The second most effective is a kind of involves the whole body. So if you lay, and I'll find a picture of the position because I'm not going to get in this position, um, but if you lay like an L, your back's on the floor and your legs are up against the wall. Put your hands on your stomach and focus on deep breathing. Not only does that incorporate the breathing technique that will help bring oxygen into your blood and you know help your brain calm and your heart rate slow, but it also, because you are have your feet up and your head low, it brings blood up to your brain, which helps with anxiety because your brain can function better with the more blood. Grounding tool number three, touch and texture. So we've had a couple uh, touch grounding tools, physical grounding tools uh, throughout the years. Um, and this is different than like the temperature touch thing. This is more just to have some kind of texture uh, that we can focus on. Um, so for a while we carried around this piece of a branch that had really textured bark and we would hold on to that and feel the branch. Right now we have fidget spinners and a fidget cube that have different textures and when you you know, spin the fidget spinner, I'm sure all of you know this, how it feels like a little vibration in your hand. Um, that works really well for us. Or if nothing else, playing with our hair. That's a texture that can ground us and calm us down. Focusing on a texture brings our mind away from whatever flashback or dissociation that we're having and connects us to something real without us having to think too terribly hard about it. It's a very passive thing to just feel a texture. So if we are really far out, that's a very good uh, tool for us to use. Grounding tool number four, checking our muscle tension. When you are anxious, it is easy to be have your muscles be tense without you even noticing. Shoulders can lock up, jog tightens, fists clench. Relaxing your body can help relax your mind. Um, and a really easy way 
for us to get rid of muscle tension rather than trying to say, okay, is this tense? Is this tense? Got to relax. Is we just sit and tense up every muscle in our body and then slowly focus on from toes to head, loosening up all of those muscles. So we tense up, say, I'm relaxing my feet. My feet are relaxing. My feet are relaxed. I'm relaxing my legs. My legs are relaxing. My legs are relaxed. I'm re and then you just, that, those three phrases, you, however slow you need to, you go from your toes to your head until your whole body is just loose uh, and relaxed. And it really um, helps bring things down. It also gives you something to focus on rather than whatever is causing you anxiety by having that little mantra to go through your head and focusing on the individual parts of your body. So it's good for a lot of reasons. Grounding tool number five, stepping outside. Yes, this may sound very, very basic and silly, but honestly, sometimes it's what we need. If, we, if we've been inside for a long time, stepping outside can kind of give us a tiny boost that we need in order to then go do other grounding things and other um, mental health wellness things if we just like absolutely don't have the ability to do it. So going out, feeling the sun, feeling the breeze, stepping out of a stale room into an environment like that is a sudden change that kind of shocks us out of our, our whatever and gives us a boost that we need to move forward. Grounding tool number six, tapping. So when I first heard about tapping, it was when a stranger came up to me after one of my uh, public presentations and decided to give me this long 20, 30 minute lecture about what tapping was. And I thought, this is ridiculous. This cannot be real. Why are you talking to me, stranger? <laughs> then years later, the therapist that helped diagnose our DID and all the other stuff uh, started talking about tapping as well. And apparently it's pretty legit. The idea is exactly what it sounds. It uh, goes with different pressure points that connect to different nerves that affect your body different ways, uh, just like acupuncture, and can give you a bit of calm. Now, obviously, this cannot replace any type of traditional medicine or therapy or anything, but it is a grounding tool that works really well for us. Well, the one pressure point that we were taught, well, that we were taught two. Well, the one we use the most often is right here below the clavicle and just lightly tapping that area helps with anxiety and bring down anxiety. It, it's, it seems silly, I know, but it helps, it helps me. And so maybe it'll help you too. The other one we were taught was right here in the middle of the forehead, uh, which is also supposed to help with anxiety. Um, however, when we are out in public or talking to someone, this is a lot more subtle than this. So we, we use the clavicle point most often. <laughs> if you're interested in learning more about tapping, I'll have um, links about that in the description below. Those are six grounding tools that work really, really well for us. And I'm interested to hear what kind of grounding tools work well for you guys. If you do some of the things that I do or do something that I didn't mention at all. Talk about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Before I sign off, I'd like to give a huge thank you shout out to Elizabeth and all of our patrons for supporting us and helping us do what we do on a weekly basis. I'd also like to remind everybody about our Teespring where we sell really cool shirts and stickers and socks. And if you get any of our stuff from our Teespring and hit us up on Twitter, you could be featured in one of our videos just like this. Remember, you are loved, you are valuable, and you are valid. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.